Hey girl! So today is gonna be a story time and it's gonna be about the time that I was followed around the mall, in particular Macy's. Back in the spring of 2014, I had worked at Macy's. I was leaving out of Macy's and entering into like the whole hallway part of the mall and as soon as I walked out, I was stopped by this guy. And he was a grown man, he was old, he was really old. And he asked me to come here for a second, so I thought maybe he was gonna ask me where something was or, you know, ask me what time the store closed or something. Like, I didn't expect for what he was about to say next. So, he told me to be his son's girlfriend. He didn't ask me, he told me to be his son's girlfriend. And I'm like, <laughs> no? And let me tell you, this boy looked like he was 13 years old, okay? At the time, I was 22. 22. You want your son to go with a grown woman? Bruh, no. We are not about that life. I'm not about to be no MILF. Like, that's disgusting. It's like, why? And I'm like, um, I'm actually getting ready to move. And he's like, so? You can still be his girlfriend. And I'm like, no. And I just kept walking and just minding my own business. And I went over to the food court area to go get me some food. And so after I had placed my order and stuff, like I happened to turn around and there he was. Like that man and his two kids and that boy who looked like he was 13 years old who obviously could not talk for himself to pick up a girl. Like, bruh, you need your daddy to do that? Like, bruh. So I hurried up, got my food, and then... I went back into Macy's and I went inside the break room and I stayed there. So after my lunch break was over, I had went back to work and I worked in the men's section. And so I saw him, the man, inside the store with like the two boys and they're just walking around and they were looking suspicious. And I had told my coworker, I was like, he had told me to be his son's girlfriend. And then he ended up like being at the food court where I was. And now he's here. I started to feel very uncomfortable because at this point he was just in the store just walking around, not doing anything. He was already there for like about an hour. And I just went ahead, I had called the supervisor and told the supervisor like, yo, there's this man and his kids here. And I don't know if they're following me or what, but this is what happened. And I kind of don't really feel comfortable. So, the supervisor told me, okay, well, just go to the back area and organize the closet. And so, basically, what this room was, I can't think of the name because it's been so long since I worked at Macy's. But it was like this room where it was for online orders. So, when people place their orders online and they decide that they want to come into the store and pick it up, that's where all their stuff was so he just like so he was following me like as I was like on my way back there and kept stopping me trying to talk to me and I'm like I'm sorry I have to work like I can't do this so I hurried up and I got to the section where the room was and this was like in a toddler section and so he had and there's like a little fitting room over there too like near near that area so let me tell you so he's like following me like towards that area where the toddler section was so luckily like there's an area where you're getting ready to go into the fitting room and there's like the door where you go into that closet actually the only way you could get in there was it was a code that you had to know or if it wasn't the code it was a key in order to get in there so i went in there like myself and like in there and I was organizing the stuff and <laughs> like they gave me a call when he, the guy was gone because like after a while he was gone I think it was probably about like 20 minutes or so that I was in that room and then he was gone like I don't know why he just couldn't find somebody that kid's age to get a girl to go out with him or you know all that crap why he had to go for a grown woman but yeah, that is it about how I was followed around my job by some creepy person trying to get me to go out with his son. Bruh, I have another story about how this man was a wingman for his son. I, bruh, it must be hard out here to get girls. But hey, that's a purple car.
Yeah, so that is it. Um, thanks for watching, you guys.